Hi guys! So I totally missed this live stream yesterday. I was, uh, we were at this wakeboarding place and I was home way too late and my phone went out of power and you know. So <laughs> to make things a little bit better, I thought I'm just gonna make a live stream today and if people tap in and if you guys have questions, feel free to ask and if not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk I'm just gonna share and that's what's up so hi guys how are you doing um, <laughs> for me I just I just really feel that lately all these energies have been been really crazy for a long period and <laughs> and sometimes sometimes it's hard to know what's going on you know and oh whoops <laughs> and um what do i want to say with this sometimes sometimes we don't even know if it's our own or if it's others or are, if we're just too sensitive or what's really going on and for me especially i always i feel everybody and I had a hard time figuring out what were mine and what was others and I realized that the moment it is inside of me, it's mine, you know? The moment that I am feeling it, there's something within me that resonates with this emotion. So from here on, the choice, the choice, <laughs> the choice is to find out, is it something I simply can let go because I know that's not mine but I'm just feeling the other persons? Or is it something that resonates with something inside of me, so I need to just allow this feeling? And people have this this thing where they always think that I'm just happy, that everything is always good, and <laughs> and um, and I am in generally always happy. I'm happy every day. But it's not that I'm not feeling the other feelings. It's not that I'm not feeling the other emotions. And I believe the key to become free inside is to fully allow everything. Is to fully allow and embrace your feelings. If it's yours, if it's others, it doesn't matter. If it's inside of you, you resonate with it in that moment. So, for example... <laughs> I um I had this dream. I always have a lot of dreams and tonight this night I had a dream um that really touched this feeling uh, deep inside of me and I, I woke up with cramp in my entire body and I felt so bad so bad and I, I thought to myself like I know that everything is world realities and this world reality I just were a part of was a memory from my past, uh, of course always linked to something in the moment that you need to look into for whatever reason, but yet I felt it so deep and I couldn't just let it go. So I, I talked with a friend of mine and he just said three words and I completely cracked. I cried so badly. <laughs> <laughs> so badly like if there were no tomorrow it literally feels like that so I was crying for I think two hours until I fell asleep and I I woke up with my nose really stuck you know because when you've been crying your eyes get big and your nose are stuck and you know all this stuff I just woke up like wow I have no idea if this is just mine or how deep this laid within or Am I just crying for everybody or what's actually going on in this moment? And the truth is, in some way it doesn't matter. Because it was there. I, I felt the pressure and I, I literally felt like my heart was burning. And... Oh great, it's not only me. Ha! Great! I will tell you what it is in a moment. <laughs> so, the thing is... Instead of us getting too lost and confused in not knowing what is and why, allow the feeling fully. Don't be afraid, even that it's pain, because trust me, this morning was so painful. So painful, I felt like, pff, it's never gonna end, you know? 
But look at me now. I'm smiling. I'm happy. I feel girly, sensitive, but free. My body is at ease. I am at peace. Because I fully allowed and embraced the feeling. Because there is no longer anything stuck within my body. And whatever it were, I am now free. That was the point of my whole crying story. <laughs> Claire, same for you today. What is this? Um, okay, so basically what's going on is collective. There is a lot of shifts going on. And as I've been saying, men especially have been influenced on a mind level with fear and with uh, being afraid for not following their true purpose questioning themselves if they can stand up in their manhood and uh, having the feeling of evil possessing them so this wave hitting the man <laughs> is on a mental level because of you know the mental structures and etc and it's been going on for three four weeks now have actually had its peak and are now dialing down so <laughs> girls of course, we are hit on the emotional level. <laughs> and this uh, wave started around two weeks ago, but it's first influencing the last three days. Three, four to, four, three to four days. Um, and this wave will continue for a while. It will hit us wherever we can be hit, you know. But the beautiful thing in it is that you just go through it. You just go through it, whatever it is. You just look inside of yourself and you ask, why was this triggered? What is it within me that I haven't looked at? Or what is it within me that I still feel the desire for for having? Or which part of me do still need more love and care? So whatever we are linking to emotionally, if it's our own, if it's collective, allow the emotion, embrace it fully and just look within, not with blame, not with rust, not with pain, but just slightly, softly look inside of you and ask yourself, what's up? <laughs> what, what is it that I feel that I am lacking? If it is mine, if it's truly mine, how can I just let it go? Or how can I look myself in the mirror and be like, wow. That's not, that's not what I feel. I literally had this feeling today. So I was feeling really bad in the morning, you know. I was outside, I was running slightly overkill, like 15 kilometers, 14 maybe. And my feeling, you know, was this puppy eyes and couldn't breathe and blah, blah, blah. But when I looked in the mirror and when I looked in my own eyes, what I see is not what I felt. What I see is not those emotions of lack or those emotions of uh, being not good enough or etc. What I see is my soul. So what I want to tell you guys is, oh, I repeat myself so often, fully embrace, fully allow whatever you are feeling. Look yourself in the mirror. Don't look at the surface, don't look at whatever you can be picky about, but look in your eyes and look deep and you keep looking until you see yourself and you re-realize that this is you within every moment this is you everything else is temporary everything else is just for a while it's just a flow but you exist you are what is so <sighs> That was basically what I wanted to tell you guys today and I know it m might sound weird but I love this, you know, it's, it's life, it's not supposed to be nothing, it's supposed to be a little bit messy, it's supposed to be a bit of a roller coaster and it only brings us closer to ourselves, it only brings us therefore closer to each other. Ah, uh, Claire, that's so true. It started after treating a beautiful woman with a lot of pain, which of course resonated. She left enlightened, enlightened, 
Today I was working through what was going on inside of me, never mind where it came from. Exactly, Claire. Exactly. And I, I too have this uh, tendency to take things in, you know. And um, it's good. Actually, often it just allows me to look at myself one more time. So, and ask myself, how far did I actually go? Where, where am I standing now? <laughs> I'm out at a cross distance. Yes, Oliver. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, the beautiful thing also to us who have clients and stuff is that even that we can resonate with them on whatever emotional level they have, whatever pain level they have, it's also a beautiful gift for us to see how far we became or how far we came and what we may still feel that we haven't fully embraced within ourselves. And when we are able to love every single part of them, we can be able to love every single part of ourselves, which in the end is the same anyway, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so, this was, oh, by the way, this is my apartment in a little bit messy, yes, in Budapest. <laughs> And um, yeah, so anything you guys want to add or ask here on the falling, falling rope? <laughs> hey Kirsten. Oliver, you are always welcome. Always. And you know it. <laughs> Wherever I am in the world. Okay, guys. I think that that is all for today. Um, what did I want to say? Is there anything else? No. Just no matter what storm is going on inside, if it's mental, if it's emotionally, just embrace it and remember that you are not that. You are your soul. <laughs> and everything else is just passing. So I wish you guys a beautiful, beautiful evening and a lot of love. And remember, you can be crying in the morning, feeling like dying, literally feeling like dying, and be all grateful and happy when the evening falls. So don't fear your emotions, don't fear your thoughts. Just don't let them control you. <laughs> That's all. Good night. Doo -doo. And in Hungarian, see ya. <laughs>